we will be checking out this elegant Switch 4 module by Uranalog from Belgium. Like all the other Uranalog modules which you see on the sides, for example, Compare 2, which I will review soon, and the Mix 3 and Test 3 uh, here, this one is built like a tank. Those switches can take a lot of abuse and as this module is designed mainly for life use, it really matters. But what it is actually? Well, it might seem like not a lot because if you think about it, it's just a bunch of switches and knobs bolted together. It's a router at its simplest and a switcher combined in some clever ways it will breathe a lot of life in any of patches you make because first of all it can handle any type of signal you throw at it it takes audio it takes gates triggers cvs and secondly the architecture is quite simple but when you start thinking about the applications it soon appears that it is a lifesaver. So let me explain what the whole fuss is about. As you can see, the module is split in two sections. The upper section right here, consisting of two knobs equipped with three position switches and two outs. And then you have the lower section, which has four inputs right here with appropriate outputs on the right side. And between input and output of each of the section, you have also the same switch as above, a three-way switch. And this switch works like that. If you have it in the upper position, it passes the signal from in to out. If it's in the middle position, it mutes the signal. And in the lower position, you have a momentary switch. So whenever you press it and hold it, it will pass the signal. And when you release it, it goes back to the mute middle signal but this module has more to it because all of these inputs are also available here and you can switch between them with this rotary knob a b c d that's where you choose your input and it goes out somewhere else to the system and you can also pass it mute or toggle the signal one more thing to note, the input is normalized to all the other outs. So if you patch a signal in here and won't patch anything in the uh, other inputs, a signal from here will appear on all the four outputs, which might be also useful. And that is basically all that is to this module. But the fun begins when you start thinking about how you can implement this in your patches. For example, if you think about the patch I showed you at the beginning of this video, I have used this as a clock distributor. I have connected four different clock sources to the inputs. Here we have some Tempi outputs and I have some sequencers. Uh, I believe it's from Eloquencer and from Knitrider. I have then routed first two outputs to the upper section of Bitom and uh, two lower outputs to the lower section of Bitom, which is then fueling my drum modules. I have also outputted both of the upper sections to other two drum modules. So what happens is, for example, if I engage the first input, it just passes some clock from Tempi. As I engage sequencer clock, it now combines these clocks with the Bitom module. I can mute it. And I can simply use that as a distributor for these two clocks. Of course, it gets more fun if you connect four clocks and combine them with Bitom and use it only for one module because you get more variation. But I wanted to show you example with some more modules. I can do the same thing with kick right a simple triplet now i can engage the fourth clock from tempi now i can also use one of those ins for different modules up here make it temporary improvise with it
switch the inputs, sources. Of course, it could get a bit more interesting if I fiddle with the clocks on Tempe. And again, change some stuff here. Okay, another patch. How about switch for serving as a modulation matrix? What I've done here is a similar approach to what I have shown you before, but instead of clocks, I fed switch four with four different modulation sources from some sequencers and LFOs. To be honest, pretty much randomly without any synchronization because it's more fun and I have output that those inputs to different modulation destinations on organ accumulator and in doing so I have used all of the six outputs so some of them are duplicated but connected to different modulation destinations which sounds a bit like this an organ accumulator is connected to uh, mix 3, another great module by Uranalog, and that is how it sounds. No modulation. Now, now I'm using a modulation from C input, but I can switch it to A, different source, or to B, yet another shape and speed or D. Now I can modulate a different destination with a different source and a flick between those. As you can hear, only this small combination already gives us so much flexibility and variations. Now, if we dare to incorporate some other destinations and other sources, it gets even more funky. Okay, so another scenario for this bad boy. As you can see, here we have a simpler arrangement. Because as I have mentioned before, if you connect a source to the first input, it gets normaled to all the other outputs. So whenever it appears here, goes to all four outputs. And what I have done here is I have connected one audio source, which is the same audio that you have heard in the previous example, uh, meaning organ accumulator riff. And then I have connected this audio to four different effect units. I have used a Spring Reverb by Depfer, I have used Erika Sin's Black Hole, I have also used Dual Delay by Modcan, and I have used a really cool distortion unit by Snazzy Effects that I will review soon, which is called High Gain. And this is how it looks. It is dead simple, but really useful, because first of all, I can check how a different effects will behave on given signal and while playing live I can just switch for a second which could be really cool for an effect so for example here we have dual delay this was spring reverb obviously this is Erika Sin's Black Hole and here we have High Gain and now we can also combine all of these so we can sort of create this multi-dimensional multi-effect with this And of course, on top of that, you can use the top section to send the signal from A to some other destinations. So as you can see, although this module is really, really simple to use, it's mighty useful. It can have potentially 
dozens, if not hundreds, uses within any system. So to summarize, looks elegant, is built like a tank, so can take a lot of abuse, cheap, fun, and very flexible. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And as usual, if you liked that video and you found it useful, please subscribe and spread the good word.